Kicking off tonight's quarterfinals. In the red corner, wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 148 pounds. He trains at Square Circle, New York. With a very impressive eight wins and three losses from New York City, Kit Rodak. And now fighting out of the blue corner. I think a lot of people already know who he is in here. He's got the blue trunks on. He's weighing in at 144 pounds. And he represents Anderson's martial arts. With a record of five wins and two losses. Three of those wins by KO. From New York City, John. John Boy Bianco. I'll bring my commands at all times. In case we're not done, we'll reach the corner. I tell you to go to remain until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch gloves. Fight. Here we go. First round coming up. Quarterfinal action. We have John Bianco versus Kitawana Rudda. I know both guys are coming out of really well-rounded schools. Yeah, we have Anderson Martial Arts versus Squared Circle. A lot of talent in both those schools. You know, this, this first round is just, you know, these guys don't know who they're fighting. They don't know, so they're not sure exactly what to do. They're going to feel each other out a little bit here. They'll try to come a little hard. Looks like John Bianco has a little bit more of an open style, where Kit Wana has a little bit more of a traditional Muay Thai style. Yeah, Kit's a little bit, his hands are a little bit tighter right down the middle. He's checking that inside low kick really well. You know, that can end up, that it's a blessing and a curse. You're protecting your leg, but by the end of the night, that shin's really hurting. Oh, yeah. Good low kick from John Bianco. What John needs to do is he needs to keep kicking that leg. It's doing, it's doing well for him. He needs to keep throwing those leg kicks because he's hitting Kit with it. Kit's noticing right away. John's hands are a little low. And, and Kit really needs to get on those hands, get on that hand game. When he starts throwing those hands, he's touching John with them. Yep. There you go. He's setting up hand-to-leg combos. If he starts doing that again, he'll start landing them on John a lot. Neither fighter really feeling anybody out. They're kind of throwing what, they, what their go-to techniques are, it looks like. Nice straight kick up the middle. John's really low and flat-footed where Kit's up on those toes. It's going to set it up where John's going to have a little more power in his punch and Kit's going to have more snap in those kicks. Both fighters look seem content with trading kicks right now. That was a pretty close round. Notice kick switching his stance up a little bit to get those legs. John just keeps working on that leg. They're not doing a whole lot of damage hitting that thigh, but they're scoring points. It's a lot of style versus aggression here. Yeah. Nice and low there's kick. Kit with his own kick. You know, sticking to the tie rhythm, he's picking up his pace going into the second round. Fell, fell them out in the first, starting to push. John's still in the fight, though. He's protecting himself well. Oh, trying to get his boxing going. Kit's now looking for those big one shots. He needs to go back to what he was doing before, setting those hands up to those legs. That was working really well for him in that first round. He needs to do that again. Again, it's style kind of versus aggression here, and a lot of times you get stylistic fighters don't like the pressure. It throws them off their game. Yeah, the stylistic guys, they, they like to make it look clean and look nice, and I can appreciate that. Yeah. But it is a fight, and he does need to keep the, put, the pressure on him. Yeah, sometimes you gotta get dirty to win. Exactly. Nice punch over top. 
Fighters have to stay active in the clinch. See how the ref pulls them off the ropes? That's a standard move in a Muay Thai fight. Yeah, they, they both missed out on big point opportunities there by not clinching with each other. And I can understand, you know, they're, they're looking at the long term with, you know, possible three fights. But you don't want to play cautious in a tournament. You know, it's, it's not going to do any good. Because if you get knocked out in that first round, your cautiousness didn't help you at all. Okay, ending in round two. Again, I've got to put it towards the Muay Thai, towards Kit. Down for John, and Kit's got to just keep doing what he's been doing. I, I think Kit, uh, John needs a knockout to win this fight. Nice inside low kick to start off the third round. Good nice combination. Kit's really been zeroing in on that liver the whole fight. For anybody that doesn't know, the liver is one of the worst places to get hit. Oh, man, you get hit in the liver, you're okay for about four seconds, and then you're, you're just down. The liver is one of the worst spots to get hit. I don't know. I think it's a toss-up between getting hit in the groin or getting hit in the liver, which is worse. <laughs> John, John looks like he's sensing he needs to be urgent here. Nice clinch in knee. Kit's really playing, you know, to the rules, he's scoring his points, trying to stay safe. He knows he's got two more fights to go. John's got to start pushing. Yeah, J John needs to really push this fight. And he sensed that urgency, but he ran into a big knee from Kit. So I think he's a little cautious now. Again, this is the beauty of a tournament. You got to decide how bad do you want to stay in it. That's what it is. I said that earlier. I, the, the tournament decides, the winner decides who wants it more. At this point, Kit's just picking off his own shots. He's controlling this fight. You know, he just needs to keep doing this for the rest of this round. I'm confident that he took this round, this fight. But you never know. You never know, do you? You never know how the other judges see in it. Really effective usage of the ring by Kit. Staying as safe as possible. Scoring his points, keeps moving. You don't want to give too, too many freebies like that away, though. No, no, you don't. You definitely don't want to do that because those points do add up. There you go. Trying to end with a little bit of authority. I really think that low kick's added up. Very good, very good fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have a winner by majority decision. Judge Tom Sconzo. Sees this fight for Kit Ruddock, 30-27. Judge Vinny Chappell sees this fight for John Bianco, 28-29. Winner and moving on to the semifinals to fight the next winner of the next bout, Kit Ruddock. So the judges, for the most part, saw it how we saw it. But again, it was a close fight, so you can understand how it could go either way.